Welcome to Chefs Today. I'm Kat Greenleaf, joined by Tom Colicchio for another edition can of I, Chefs Today. Can, can I rent this stupid do that show? <laughs> but seriously, Tom, before the advent of the television camera, <laughs> chefs were back of house. Back sure, of house, sure, right? Sure, sure. They, they didn't... We were hidden away. Hidden away. You know, it was a... Um, not the glamorous profession it is today. No, it's, it, it, it's glamorous. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You know, and that's that was a result of, you know, going back now 40 years, Nouvelle Cuisine. It took the chef and it took them out of the kitchen. Number one, because prior to that, chefs, when they played the food, they weren't plating food. Everything was served on platters. Right. And now all of a sudden, chefs were putting uh, plates together and they're creating a signature. And then obviously with the, with the advent of food TV, chefs really started becoming, uh, you know, more popular on TV. Well, you're the poster child. Really, you are for Chef TV. I mean, you've been on Top Chef on Bravo for all 12, 12, 12 seasons. seasons. 12, 12 seasons. 12 seasons. 12 seasons. Yeah. Right? Who would have thunk yeah. it? This was by far the closest decision we ever had to make. Unfortunately, there's only going to be one. Being a chef before maybe wasn't, let's say, as glamorous or lucrative. Do you feel like that might have diluted the pool of really good chefs? Because you have people who just want to be TV chefs? No, but what, it, what it's done. Um, is, is that there are a lot of people who are attracted to the industry for all the wrong reasons. It's brutal work. I mean, you're on your feet all day long. You're typically working nights. You're typically working a lot of holidays. You know, it's, it's hot. It's, it's, it's tough. And a lot of kids get into because they want to be on TV, and they don't realize what it takes to get there. And they drop Can't out. Can't stand the heat. Don't come in the kitchen. We'll provide the chaos. You provide the control. Uh, the new show is called Best, Best Restaurant. New Restaurant. One bite of this, and I know that they're serious. That is phenomenal. We went to four different cities. We went to Los Angeles, Austin, Miami, New York. We opened up by doing interviews and interviewed sort of the major players in the restaurant and try to figure out what they're trying to do. And so we're looking at how well they actually um, execute their, their concept. I tell you, what was great about it is a lot of these, you know, these are all professional chefs and professional restaurateurs, and they all come on like this. Is no, you know. At the end, they're all saying, this is the hardest thing we've ever done. Really? It's brutal. What because you're through. No, it's just the, the, the certain challenges that we put them through. You know, 24 hours, open a restaurant and run it. Insane. It's really hard work. And they're in the same kitchen. We're not going to go down without a fight, that's for sure. Be honest with me. If the James Beard Award, of which you have won six, mm -hmm. is the highest honor for a chef in a restaurant, what's the highest honor that can be paid to a home cook? Um, you know what? When, when, when your family comes home every night and they're looking for, for, for a good meal, what else, do you, what else do you need? Well, I don't know yeah. because I don't know how to cook and my kids have never come home looking for food. Okay. In fact, they come home and look for the cell phone to call somebody to bring it to us. I've come to accept the fact that I don't cook. I'm not well, why not? I'm not good at it. Well, you don't have to be good at it. No, I don't make anything. You make reservations. I make reservations. We love people like you. Right. Well, right. You keep me busy. People it's like a, me yeah. help people like you. Yes, of course, yes. It's, it's tough. Listen, if, if you don't, my, my wife can't cook as well as I can and she struggles to, you know, get, you know, I, I can throw something together in a half an hour. Yeah, I'm quick, I know how to cook and so I'm you know, good knife skills and so it's easy for me. Knife I understand skills. that. Knife skills. Yeah, yeah something does, like that. Do those like apply that. outside of the kitchen? Mm, no. Like if I ventured in a dark alley, would you be like, knife skills and then... Maybe. Oh, God. Who, who wants that? <laughs> not, not I. Well, if, I, if, I, if I'm with you and we're, we're, we're attacked or something, you well, may want knife skills then. So, so besides your uh, knife skills and television career, you have some causes that I know you're actually passionate about. I have a few, about. yes. A few. Yeah. <laughs> um, I co-founded an organization called Food Policy Action. And we actually have a scorecard. And we grade Congress on how they vote around food issues, including oh. hunger. We're trying to get people um, used to the idea of thinking around policies when they think around food. Oh, you are just, you are so, just yeah. writing checks and breaking necks and well, you're doing we're, it. Well, we're doing it. We're not, we don't have a lot of money, but we, we can make a lot of noise. And we find that when, when you start talking to people about food, they start to really care. But don't bring up a GMO because, because... We don't like those either. No. We don't like GMOs, but what is a GMO? I don't think everybody really grasps. It's a genetically modified um, uh, you know, plant. Right now, the only way that you know that you're buying non-GMO is to buy organic. This is, this is what I like to, like to do this exercise. Let's just say you're going into the supermarket and you want to buy strawberries. Okay. And you see these strawberries and one says local and the other one says organic and the other one says GMO free. Which one is non-GMO? The one that says GMO free? You would assume so. Right. And you would think the organic one is not supposed to be GMO. Oh, really? But guess what? They all are. Oh. Because there are no GMO strawberries. I bet you are no fun at a dinner party. <laughs> Do you just go around the table and just like destroy everything no, that everyone's No, played, not, not at all. And it's just over? And they're like, thanks for coming, not... <laughs> never, never again. 
Thank you for joining me on yeah. Chef's Today. You can today. leave now. Yes. Chef's Today. Chef's Today uh, and tomorrow and forever. Cheers. Cheers.